Follow Pop News, you guys. You got it, you got okay. it, brother. All right. Very close. Um, good morning, everybody. And we're going to cue the song because this ain't Texas. This is Beyonce country. All too clear now since her act two, Cowboy Carter, dropped on Friday. The album has already shattered records, becoming Spotify's most streamed album in a single day. And Amazon Ooh. Music says this is Beyonce's biggest album debut on their platform, outstreaming all of her others. It also had the most first day streams for a country album by a female artist. Mm. And call it the Beyonce boost. Black country artists like Britney Spencer, Raina Roberts, and Shabuzi, all featured on Cowboy Carter, are also getting a big streaming bump from first time listeners to their music. That's fantastic. Last night, Beyonce was honored at the iHeart Radio Music Awards with the Innovator Award presented by Stevie Wonder. Beyonce revealing what being an innovator means to her. You call me an innovator, and for that, I'm very grateful. Innovation starts with a dream, but then you have to execute that dream, and that road can be very bumpy. Being an innovator is seeing what everyone believes is impossible. Being an innovator often means being criticized, which often will test your mental strength. Being an innovator is leaning on faith and trusting that God will catch you and guide you. Stevie Wonder, by the way, also featured on the Cowie Carter album. He's playing harmonica on Beyonce's version of Dolly Parton's classic Jolene. And it may have been Dolly, in fact, who wished this version into existence. Two years ago, she said in an interview she wished Beyonce would cover Jolene like Whitney did for I Will Always Love You, another one of her great songs. And it happened. And it's a hit. Act two, Car Cowboy Carter, streaming everywhere right now. And we will have even more from the iHeartRadio Music Awards, including some backstage interviews coming up later this morning on GMA3. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited about this album. If you haven't heard the whole thing, it's amazing. Um, and hey, guys, do you remember War of the Roses yes. with Michael oh, Douglas yeah. Kathleen Turner. and Kathleen Turner? Oh. Yes. Um, do we have a set? Yes. Here it is. No, you don't. You can't have one. Well, oh. yeah, she can. I've Watch that movie. The 1989 comedy about a couple in the throes of a wildly contentious divorce, directed by Danny DeVito. I forgot about that. Yeah. It was a huge box office hit, and now it's being reimagined by, get this, Oscar nominee Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> and oh. Oscar winner Olivia <laughs> Coleman. They will star in The Roses, and it will tell the story of a picture-perfect couple who have great chemistry, careers, kids, but underneath the facade of a perfect family is a tinderbox. Mm. That's a great Competition idea, and resentment. It? Searchlight president Matthew Greenfield calling the cast and director of the Dream Team stating the, war, the Roses is a wildly funny, bigger than life film. It will be directed by none other than Jay Roach. Mm. That, I mean, what, you're right. Credit. Can I, can we get a pop pause? <laughs> I don't want, I don't want, I don't want America to miss the pony. I can, can you just give it a side shot? Wow. This may be the best pony in America right now, America. I just, okay, go ahead, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll return it promptly after the show. <laughs> and finally, everybody, Bill Nye, the science guy, is about to have a moment thanks to the solar eclipse next Monday. Everyone's favorite TV science guy has landed on the cover of Time Out New York. Wow, showing that science and style can go hand in hand. And inside, he answers questions about the upcoming eclipse, saying, if you have the chance, do not miss it. It may only be three minutes and 18 seconds, but it will change your life. He goes on to say, the next one's not for 20 years. Who knows where we'll all be then? Mm. So seize the moment. Nye is headed to Texas to view it along the path of totality. He stresses that if you're planning on looking skyward, please wear protective eyewear and fit any cameras, telescopes, binoculars with those solar filters. Our coverage of the eclipse starts right here on GMA next Monday, and then you can follow it live on Eclipse Across America Woo! beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern on ABC, yeah. ABC's New Live, Nat Geo, and all of Disney's family of networks and social platforms. Big day. Yeah, huge day. Yeah. And that's that's how I'll be watching it on ABC platform. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of them. Did, Sorry, you, hear, did you coin the pop pause? pause? Yes. Pop pause. I just thought we needed one. I, I mean, also though, like that you do. You have to do yeah, a little rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's attention. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.